Boket Tov, Chavarim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Breaking news this morning, North Korea, no doubt, imminent war. And it may very well be that the United States, along with Japan and South Korea, will be doing a first strike. As we know, the, uh, the president of South Korea has been dismissed and removed from office and just makes you wonder whether or not he was an obstacle of doing a first strike on North Korea because clearly a North strike is definitely in the works and Japan is joining along with the United States with this policy. Uh, we have here posted on March the 8th, of course today being March 10th, 2017, uh, the article that was here on your newswire, nuclear war, Japan ready to strike North Korea. Uh, it says here Japan's are, are, get, are gearing up for a nuclear confrontation with North Korea in the wake of a ballistic missile test by Pyongyang. Legislators in Japan are calling for a first strike policy against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea amid fears that North Korea could strike at any moment. If bombers attack us or war, our warships bombard us, we would fire back, former Defense Minister uh, Itsunori Andori said during a Japanese committee meeting to discuss possible military action against North Korea. Striking a country lob, lobbing missiles at us is no different. Uh, so it definitely looks like it's headed that way. There's a lot of other information going on besides Japan. Japan and the United States are conducting Navy drills in the East China Sea as a warning to North Korea. Uh, this is according to the South China Morning Post. This just came out moments ago. It says the Japanese and U.S. navies are conducting joint Navy uh, exercises in the East China Sea as tensions intensify in the region following North Korea's missile tests, uh, local media reported on Friday. Uh, also, President Donald Trump has ordered B-1 and B-52 bombers to be moved to South Korea. This is according to the, uh, the Sun reporting this this morning. Uh, or excuse me, yesterday as well, that Donald Trump is reportedly planning to send nuclear bombers to the Korean Peninsula as tensions in the region reach a breaking point. Now, you have to keep in mind, sending nuclear bombers to South Korea, no doubt, has definitely not got uh, China nor Russia very happy with this type of firepower right there on both of their doorsteps. Uh, but nonetheless, President Trump not playing around. And when I say not making them happy, I'm sure that that's also weighing in on the fact that, as we know already, 8,000 uh, NATO soldiers are, are involved right now inside of Norway in a, uh, in a, in, in a um, military drill that's been going on there. U.S., British, and uh, Norwegian soldiers in a Viking, as it's called, a Viking uh, exercise there way up in the northern parts of the region there. No doubt has Russia a little bit tense at this point now because that is Russia's northern border along with uh, that of Norway there. But it's not the only thing that's letting us know that the tensions with South Korea are definitely mounting. This here on uh, Lorenzo's Twitter page already happened and as well as his website alreadyhappened.com. He just put, uh, posted this video this morning. And uh, very troubling indeed as we see this as well. But again, let's North Korea know something is about to break. And what you're seeing on your screen here, this is military equipment. And you're about to see a much larger contingent of military equipment in South Korea. Notice to your right of the screen there, all of these, let me see if I can just stop that right there. They're coming out of like a, um, a little... Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, a little little side spot there, not like a gas station, I don't think, but they're coming out. And this is, again, more tracked armored personnel carriers uh, and stuff that are moving to the north there with uh, the border of North Korea. So there's a lot of military equipment on its way to the border there with North Korea, uh, getting ready for, no doubt, a confrontation with the north. And I don't think this is necessarily just a military drill, but clearly the South Korean government is getting ready for what they perceive to be an imminent threat from North Korea. And they're definitely not playing around with this. And as you can see, the, just the, the line there just seems to be endless of military hardware there uh, in route to the northern border. Uh, also in other news, I wanna take you real quick here. And I know that uh, a lot of people uh, would, uh, well, I'm sorry, uh, 
and on this news here is that the United States is sending, according to the New York Times, 400 more troops to Syria. If you remember, the article I shared with you from Russian News yesterday is that the United States is limited to 500 soldiers on the ground inside of Syria, and that this fight in there for Raqqa uh, is going to be something that's going to be a major concern for them because they anticipated that the United States may send more troops on the ground inside of Syria. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen. There's already 500 troops on the ground inside of Syria, as we can see right now. And now the New York Times is reporting that the United States is sending 400 more troops into Syria there. Uh, and they say they state here, the United States is sending an additional 400 troops to the Syria to help prepare for the looming fight for Raqqa, the capital of the Islamic State self-proclaimed caliphate, American officials said on Thursday. The increase, which includes a team of Army Rangers and Mar Marine Artillery Unit that have already arrived in Syria, represents a near doubling of the number of American troops there. The United States military has declined to say how many troops it has deployed in Syria. The formal troop cap is 503, but commanders have the authority to temporarily exceed that limit. Well, it looks like they're going to do it, and Russia already knew about it, and we reported that to you guys yesterday something that Russia was concerned that would happen. Again, Russia has not got a problem with the United States uh, fighting to help the Kurds. They said they had no issue with that, but they did know that the United States would more than likely try to increase the number of soldiers on the ground, and that would become a problem for Russia uh, and, and their own sovereignty inside this area here. One other thing I wanted to share with you, and this is going to be no doubt a little bit controversial to some because of the very fact that it is Superstation 95 reporting this, uh, but we have some information that will back up this, and this is why I wanted to share this with you. Radiation leak, possible meltdown, fears of a hydrogen explosion. Uh, and this is in Norway that they're reporting this. The United States sent a uh, constant Phoenix aircraft to sniff for evidence of a clandestine nuclear uh, detonation, but none was found. Today, radiation alarms went off at the Halden Norway nuclear reactor as a research facility. Workers were evacuated when the detectors showed a radiation release. Upon further inspection, the neutron flux was detected inside the reactor core, which is something that is not supposed to take place. In other words, they're concerned about a nuclear meltdown. Now, again, many of you that are listening, uh, before you uh, jump off your rocker and say Superstation 95 is always reporting uh, a bunch of hogwash and bogus things and there's probably no nuclear radiation whatsoever in Europe, that's just contrary to the facts and I have, that's why I wanted to share this with you. Um, the news media here in the Czech Republic has already been saying to citizens that there has been a detection of radiation in the area. They claim that it is a low level radiation, uh, but they are saying to the citizens, and this is on Czech news here in the Czech Republic, that they encourage the citizens to begin to take iodine. Uh, iodine, uh, for those of you that may not know, would help protect against the exposure of radiation. So we have been warned by our, uh, the media here in the Czech Republic to start taking iodine. Uh, there has been some speculation, though, that it was actually a leaking nuclear submarine, and it was blamed to be, of course, blamed on Russia, of course, that that was one of the causes of the nuclear radiation. Some have also stated it could be Fukushima's radiation leaking that has gone this far. Nonetheless, none uh, it is still the fact that we have had radiation detected in different parts of Europe, including here in the Czech Republic. So therefore, I brought this article to your attention because they're saying that there is a possible meltdown in Norway. Now, whether or not that's really true or not, I cannot say. It's speculation as far as I'm concerned at this point, but we do have a radiation uh, that is being detected in Europe, and citizens have been warned to use iodine. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.